On 11 June 1955, a major crash occurred during the 24 hours of Le Mans motor race at Circuit de la Sarre than Le Mans, France. Large pieces of debris flew into the crowd, killing 83 spectators and French driver Pierre Boulin and injuring nearly 180 more. It was the most catastrophic crash in motorsport history, and it prompted Mercedes-Benz to retire from motor racing until 1989. The crash started when Jaguar driver Mike Hawthorne pulled to the right side of the track in front of Austin Healey driver Lance Macklin and started braking for his pit stop. Macklin swerved out from behind the slowing Jaguar into the path of Levitt, who was passing on the left in his much faster electron magnesium alloy bodied Mercedes Benz 300 SLR. Levitt rear ended Macklin at high speed, overriding Macklin's car and launching his own car through the air. Levitt's car skipped over a protective earthen berm at 200 km per hour and made at least two impacts within the spectator area, the last of which caused it to disintegrate, throwing him onto the track, where he was instantly killed, and sending large pieces of debris into the packed spectator area in front of the grandstand, including the engine block, front suspension, and hood. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you would like to view more of our videos. Have a nice day.